Today, thank you for joining us for our third installment of our inner webinar series. Today we're going to touch base on our summer programs here at Grand River Academy and what the students will get out of our programming this summer. First, we'll start off with some introductions. All right, guys, my name is Frank Shreve. I'm the Summer Academic Camp Director, as well as a few other things here at Grand River Academy. I'm in charge of the, uh, the Summer Camp, as well as the STEAM Academy. Hi, everyone. My name is Carrie Wetzel. I'm the Assistant Director of Admission here at Grand River Academy. I've been here almost a year now, and this is my first time um, working in the boarding school world, the independent school world, so it's really fun. I truly believe in what we do here at Grand River Academy. I'm all things admissions, so if you need to ask me any questions about logistics, about what can happen this summer, costs, the application process, all of that, feel free to do so um, now during the webinar or after later. And also, um, you know, I can help you with fall as well, so. A quick overview of what we'll talk about today. Our summer academic camp. Uh, our summer, our STEAM Academy. Our student goals. Our summer schedule and costs. And any questions at the end um, that you might have. Um, note that the chat option is off during this webinar, but our question and answer um, portion is available. It should be up at the top for you. Um, and then at the end, we'll go over any questions that you might have. So first, we're going to touch on our summer academic camp. Um, this is for boys entering grades 8th through 12th grade. Our summer camps have really empowered students from all over the world to make their most of their summer experience. Students will benefit from being around like-minded students, um, teachers um, that live here on campus with them. They'll build friendships and really um, activate their full potential. Now, everyone knows that whenever you don't exercise a certain part of your body, it loses strength. Same thing is with the brain. Without ongoing opportunities to learn and practice essential skills, Kids fall behind on measures of academic achievement over the summer months. Now, with the way this comes out here with our summer academy, it presents the opportunity for not only to improve on uh, current skills that you've already learned, but maybe be able to uh, re-learn or uh, re-study some items that you may have struggled with during the school year. So during our camp, there's various programs that are um, setting the boys up for success. One is our English as a second language options for students. So helping non-English speaking students focus more on gaining those skills in the English language while not worrying about other subjects that they need to during the fall and spring um, during a regular academic year. Our credit recovery system allows for students to really um, you know, make up a class. They might not have done well in it. They might have, you know, moved around a lot and haven't built those skills in that particular area. So this allows the students to recover that credit. And then also students with learning differences who struggle to keep up in a mainstream classroom can really focus on this particular subject um, with, you know, maybe two or three other students in the classroom with their teacher. So they're getting a lot of extra help and a lot of hands-on learning through this. Um, and then students that might want to also get ahead in a sub subject. So they really love math, so they want to take a math class so they can take more math classes throughout their high school experience. This is um, something that we see a lot in our summer program students. Next is our STEAM Academy. Um, our STEAM Academy is the brainchild of our STEAM Days that have been held on campus three times throughout the year for the past couple of years for our local elementary students where our own teachers here at Grand River Academy and our Grand River Academy students help instruct those, um, those courses. So this summer, 
we will um, be offering a five-week program alongside um, our academic camp because of our success with our STEAM days. Our STEAM Academy is for students in grades 6 through 10. And this is a separate program, like I said before, but it's at the same time. The students will really engage in a lot of hands-on um, topics where each week is devoted to something different. You see robotics. At the end of robotics, they'll have a robot to take home. They'll work on web design, filmmaking, all of that fun stuff. And at the end, there's something that they'll actually be able to take with them, take home, and show you guys what they have made during this camp. This is really an opportunity to, you know, let your son's inner inventor escape and really have a lot of fun. We do have, each week is devoted to a certain topic, so there's the five-week option of doing everything, or there's one-week options available as well. Now, with our student goals during the Summer Academy, our keys always come down to academics, experience, and com camaraderie. With our academics, they have the opportunity uh, to learn through hands-on activities, earning credit through the traditional summer academic camp. They get the opportunity to spend five weeks focusing on one subject, where they get different experiences, different projects, different hands-on experiential learning in whatever subject they're learning. Whatever it is, whether it's an English course where they're writing in a journal every night, whether it's a math class where instead of focusing on the keys of trigonometry, they're asked to build a uh, catapult. There are a number of different ways that our teachers here on campus can bring about this learning experience, and it holds great promise to help them focus and learn in a different way. Now with our experiences here, we have tons of experiences. This is still summer. We expect the guys to come in and do the work in the classroom, but we also want to make sure they realize it is summer. We're supposed to have some fun. So we have plenty of opportunities on campus where they'll be able to relax and uh, play games and enjoy our, our wonderful campus here, as well as we're going to get out into Northeast Ohio where we can experience a lot of the great things that we have to offer up here, professional sporting events, uh, the lake, the camping. There are a number of great opportunities that we're going to have this summer to let these boys come up and really enjoy themselves. And camaraderie. Uh, we are a tight-knit group here. We all live in the dorms. Our teachers live on campus here. It's how we do things. And for us, that means we're able to bring these guys together in ways that they wouldn't experience until maybe college. They're living together. They have to work together in a dorm. Their teachers are literally yards from where they live rather than they're only available during in the classroom. This, pre this presents a great way for the boys to kind of learn to come together and really have some camaraderie amongst themselves. One thing that I'm really excited for this summer is that last day when you're about to pick your son up, you're going to be able to see what they have done all summer. So similar to a science fairy experiment show off day, you're going to be able to see what your son has learned this summer. So I'm really excited to see what these boys learn in this, these five weeks with their teacher. Um, really all these skills that they're gaining in the subject area. You'll be able to see that. You'll get to hear about what they're doing um, in this presentation on that last day. So we'll chat a little bit of the logistics of our summer program. Now, with our schedule here, our summer academic camp and our STEAM Academy run concurrent with each other. Both start on July 2nd and end on August 4th. Now, the one big difference here is the STEAM Academy does have weekly options. You don't have to come for all five weeks. If there's one or two weeks that uh, your son's very, very interested in, it you can come for those two weeks. I'd recommend all five because they're great opportunities, but it gives us an option of letting the boys kind of work in their own uh, needs, in their own desires. Um, with our summer academic camp, we'll go all five weeks, and when they leave, they will have the academic credit that they came to earn here. 
And then as for cost, the summer academic camp costs six thousand dollars. This is an all-inclusive fee with tuition, room and board, um, school supplies, laundry, and activities in the summer. There is a student expense account also on, that's not included on this slide. Um, that is two hundred and fifty dollars, and that um, will be able for the students to grab snacks at the cafe and that kind of thing. More questions on that, I can answer that later as well. Our SEAM Academy is also $6,000 for the entire five-week session, or $1,200 for the weekly, which includes the rooming and board. Or if you're pretty local to us here in Austinburg, Ohio, we do have weekly day options available as well for $400. And we can, we can talk on the logistics of all of that as well later if you're interested in some other um, ways to program that. Now, one of the things I want to mention here, especially with the summer academic camp, for what you're getting for the price here, you're not just getting the teacher, you're not getting a place for them to sleep and eat while they're here. There are great opportunities that we're also pre that they're going to be able to do. We're going to a Cleveland Indians game this year. We're going to a uh, big go-kart area where they're going to be able to run go-karts. We're going to go down to Columbus to watch a professional soccer match this year. We are going camping. We are doing going up to the lake. There are so many opportunities that we have here that it allows for so much that the boys are able to be able to relax as well as put in the work in the classroom to come away with the successful time here. So that really wraps up our content piece of the webinar for today. But now we'll look at the different questions that you guys have submitted for us. All right, guys. So the first one I have here is what activities do you offer? Well, during the school day, um, during the week mainly, we'll have a lot of activities that are mainly centered here on campus with some that do go off. It's my hope here is the weather cooperates, I want to have at least one van going to the lake every day here this year. I want to, we have soccer fields, we have baseball fields, we have a quad, we have a gymnasium, a weight room. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have plenty of uh, time where if the kids want to work on a Lego project or work on our music room or something like that, we'll have the opportunities during the week where that can become an option. Um, during the weekends, that's when our trips usually come in. So like I said, a lot of professional sporting events, a lot of uh, go, uh, going to the go-karts, amusement parks, um, going to a number of uh, local areas where they can kind of experience Northeast Ohio during the summer with some of the best things we have to offer here, including a lot of orchards. Uh, I love bringing up the lake because it's just so great to go to during the summer. Uh, and it all kind of just circles around with that all-encompassing uh, feel of being able to relax after they've put in a hard day's work in the classroom. So what's the timeline look like for my son to be enrolled? Um, we can work pretty fast on a lot of these things. Um, part of the process is the application, an interview with the student. Um, we like to get to know the boys and see how they are. Uh, transcripts from his school, and then also teacher recommendations. So we like to really understand the student as a whole and see how he's doing. Once we have all those pieces in, we can get a decision back to you and welcome you into our summer program pretty fast so that you can get you know summer vacations planned as a family and that kind of um, other things for you guys to do outside of our five week program that starts July 2nd. All right, well, what does the typical day look like? Well, we're actually changing our schedule around this year from what it's been in the past. Uh, this year, uh, the boys will be up and start having breakfast about 8.15, 8.30 in the morning. Uh, classes will start at 9 and run till about 12.15 with a small break in the middle there where they can come, have a snack, stretch their legs, all that fun stuff. Then the afternoon, they'll have a two-hour session, which... Uh, should be predominantly towards uh, whatever project or hands-on activity they're working on. And that'll run until about 3 o'clock. Then from 3 to 6, uh, we'll have our activities here on campus where uh, we'll have plenty of chances for the boys to be able to do a wide number of things here. They're 
really is no just down, I'm going to go back and sit in my room and do nothing here. It's uh, We always want the boys to be moving, doing something here because it's summer. You should be doing something fun. Mm -hmm. And then um, after dinner, uh, uh, we'll get to about, uh, let me think here, about 8.45 or so where we'll have our evening study hall where the boys will be back in their rooms where they'll be able to work on the homework here till about lights out every night about 10.30. And then that'll be our basic process. Now, uh, on Wednesdays, we will have uh, a larger trip in the afternoon where instead of having our activities and everything, the boys will load up in our school transportation and go off and do uh, an off-campus adventure, if you will, where maybe it's going to a minor league baseball game or going to a water park or going even going to go see the movies where it gives us an opportunity for the boys to kind of break up the monotony of class on campus class on campus gives them lets them uh, kind of broaden their mind a little bit all right does he earn credit yes for our act summer academic camp uh, your son will earn a uh, full credit in whatever course that he's taking or have the opportunity to earn the uh, full credit for whatever course he's taking. Uh, for our STEAM Academy, it is more of a hands-on experiential camp. It's not an academic camp. So uh, for this year, there is no academic credit for that uh, course. All right, uh, what should he bring? Well, one of the handy things we do is whenever you're accepted, there's a whole list of recommended items that uh, we recommend that we should bring with you. Obviously, the necessary essentials, clothes, toiletries, uh, all that fun stuff. I would recommend a fan. It is July in Northeast Ohio, so it can get a little bit warm up here sometimes. Um, you'll probably end up with the, our computer system will be something that we'll be discussing once uh, you decide whether you'll be joining us or not. And everything else should be pretty clear cut and dry there. So is there a dress code for your summer program? Yes and no. So not our typical shirt, dress shirt, tie, pants, but... Well, uh, we want the boys to look presentable. So, you know, they need to have a uh, proper haircut and be shaved but uh, honestly it is summer school so for the boys it's as long as it's not sweatpants or uh, anything inappropriate it's if you want to come to class wearing uh, car if you want to come to pass wearing dress shirt and a polo shirt that's fine if you want to come in jeans and t-shirt perfectly fine too and uh, with the hair and everything like I said it has to be off the collar above the eyebrow and uh, a relatively uh, common length. Oh, another question. Um, so why should my student come to Grand River Academy? Well, I think it's a lot of fun here. A lot of things, you know, our teachers are really helpful for students, um, really are invested in these students and helping them be successful. The students do earn a full year credit, so it is very intensive, but the, the, our faculty here really value you know, what they're doing, really love the subject area that they're in. So they really want to give the student everything that they can. They you know, do extra work with them in the evenings if they need um, more study session helps and that kind of thing. They're really invested in their work and it's a really great place for the students um, to learn from, from the teachers. Now, for on my side here, I've been at Grand River for three years. I've been teaching for 10 and coaching for much longer than that. Um, the opportunities here at Grand River are unlike any I've ever seen at any other school I've been at. Uh, our st teaching staff is very good at what they do, which is educating young men in whatever subject they're teaching. They know how to relate to them. They know how to make that connection. And that's very, very important in a classroom. So what subjects are available during the summer? Um, okay. Well, uh, right now, 
the sky's the limit. We have English, social studies, science, mathematics. Um, our ESL program in the oh, yeah. summer as well. And don't forget our FLP program, which uh, kind of really helps a lot of boys kind of learn some great ways to uh, study and become more successful in the classroom on their own right. And like we said before, you know, this taking part in a summer learning program can really increase a student's academic and social skills. They become a lot more confident in who they are as a student and a young man. And that's really what we try to do here during our summer program, really to help motivate these students to becoming the best that they can. Uh, absolutely. And with the opportunities that come here, I, I still stand by it here. When you come here for the summer academy here at Grand River, it's not a simple fact of, well, I'm just here to get the credit. I'm just going to put my head down and just try to muddle through. We get the great opportunities where you get to have fun. The boys get to be able to go out and do something that they probably wouldn't do on their own. And that's been the biggest plus I've heard from a lot of the boys that have come for our summer program. Uh, let's see. So thank you for joining us today. Please reach out to us here at Grand River Academy with any questions that you might have. All right, now this is the third of our fourth part series. The last episode with Mrs. Shan Farrell and Mr. Thomas Pollock will talk about meeting students' needs within a traditional boarding school. Again, thank you for listening and please let us know if you have any questions about our summer program and we hope to see you here again in two weeks for our final webinar.